Tremendous ovation from this rather good-sized crowd gathered here as the president approaches the platform, the president of the United States. Secretary Udall, Senator Magnuson from Washington, Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, I want to express my uh, gratification at being able to participate in this ceremony, which has such, such significance to the people of this state. As I move through the West, and especially in this state and the other states where water is short, I realize that nearly all of the standard of living which we enjoy in this part of the United States has been due partly to our own efforts, the generation which is now here, but really even more to the generation that went before. The people who started in the early 1920s, for example, to organize the distribution of water along the basin. The people who began to talk many years ago about what we're now uh, putting into practice. So I think it's essential that we in the 1960s take steps to provide for the kind of country and state that we're going to have 20 years from now. So what we do for our children, the same thing that was done for us. This state, this section of the United States, of course, the key is water. And unless we organize every drop to be of service to mankind, this state is going to stand still. You can't possibly grow. Once the water level remains the same, once the amount of water you have for use for irrigation and reclamation and power remains the same, this state stands still. So water is the key. The management of water, I think, is the key that will open a very bright future. You will only perceive it very slightly in the next few years. But those who come after you, they'll know it, and they'll uh, remember with appreciation. I'm particularly glad because Senator Morse has preached the doctrine of the wise use of water with, I think, more vigor almost than any member of the United States Senate. He's chairman of the Subcommittee on Irrigation and Reclamation. He learned this lesson the hard way, as anyone must who lives here. I come from a section of the country where we waste water, where we seek ways to get rid of it, where we seek to have it go to the ocean as quickly as possible. It was just the reverse here. And therefore, those of us who come from a sec session, section where water is in surplus, I think it's valuable for us to come and feel that hot sun and fly over this country and see only on occasion where there are water resources and then realize how important this project is. But the important thing to remember is for 50 years, men have been talking about this project. It's now a reality. What are we going to do now so that 50 years from now, the people who live in Utah and the United States will feel that in the early 60s, we made the proper decision for the management of our resources. So this is going to make a profound difference to this state. It stands in the finest traditions of federal state cooperation and public and private coordination. This is going to be a tremendous lake, which will be a great recreational attraction, which will bring people from all over the state and all over this part of the West. But it's not limited to its power, storage, or recreational use. We must depend upon this kind of action for growth. This great dam, with almost four million acre feet of capacity, will make Salt Lake City grow, even though we are 150 miles from this dam which we now touch. It was 116 years ago when Brigham Young introduced irrigation to the United States. I'm glad that we're following in that great tradition this morning. And therefore, I will now take action which will start the first generator at Flaming Gorge Dam. Do you want to stand up here, yeah. Senator? I never know when I press these whether it means we're going to blow up uh, <laughs> Massachusetts or light a fire or electricity, but I would go on the assumption that uh, we are going to start the generator. When the, when the president pushes the buzzer, we will wait then to hear from Mr. Walton over the loudspeaker who will report on what the generator does, and thus you'll know, Mr. President, whether you blew it up or not. <laughs> we don't hear from him. It's back to the drawing board, and we'll, <laughs> we'll start again. There we go. Go on.
Mr. President, the generator is now running at full speed. Now you can sum up anything you want to say, Mr. President. This gives you an idea of how difficult the life of a president is. We, <laughs> we do this all day. In different. Yeah. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed a very historic occasion this morning. We express to the President our deep gratitude for his coming here to perform this ceremony for us. This uh, key that the President used is appropriately engra uh, engraved. This key used to start the first generator at Flaming Gorge Dam in Utah by President John F. Kennedy, September 27, 1963. This key will be presented to the president. Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. 